to turn disadvantages into advantages. We all know that life often throws at us curveballs, unexpected situations at us that we do not know how to react to. Some already born with these disadvantages, Christiani, such as in broken families, when the family does not give a structure for the person to grow in life in a healthy way. Other disadvantages, such as diseases, accidents, and sudden problems, that how to react to them is the secret that can do or undo the person. Yes, and what will be of the story of overcomers if not the disadvantages, the problems, the hardships? Because sometimes people don't see that the problem is also an opportunity for them. It is a way, it's like life is pushing the person to overcome, to be better, to do differently, to stand out between the others. So, a disadvantage, people have prejudice against it. However, disadvantage gives you an opportunity to stand out in the midst of those who have advantage. And how many marriages end precisely because of a disadvantage? or something that brought an adversity to the couple. In other words, it was supposed for on that moment of disadvantage for the love to stand out. On that moment that the husband lost the job or someone got sick, it was supposed for us to see the love that they have with each other, where you see the care, the love, the sacrifice that the person makes. So disadvantage it is a way for the marriage to become even stronger. Because you will prove the true love. And it is not by chance that those old marriage vows include the words in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer. Everyone knows it's beautiful at the time of vowing, but in practice this does not always happen. People don't understand that marriage problems cut through social classes, cultures, the intellectual level of the person. All these can make no difference in the marriage because when the person is ignorant in regards to the rules, the laws of love and of relationship, they can be a doctor in certain subjects, they can be a millionaire, but poor and ignorant about love life. And unfortunately, this happens to many. And here is one of the reasons why the, the love school exists. Yes, and on the moment that the person just gave birth, normally they are more sensitive, they are expecting more of their partner because you are there spending time with the child, so you need more support, more attention. And the person normally leaves the reasoning aside. They don't think in 10 days, one year, a month time. They go with their emotion. You know what? I don't want you anymore. I will give up. So they go there and post on social media. It's like they burn all the bridges. They burn the ships. If there was any bridge that they would come back, you burn everything, you destroy anything. And this is a tip for our students. Don't do this. Many famous people, and also people that are not famous, they post on their social media and they expose the other person. What if tomorrow, one week time, six week time, you want to come back, but you already exposed, you humiliated the person, and the other person cannot see only the problem that they were, they were seeing before, but they are angry at you because you humiliated the person. So this is not a way to call the attention of your partner. Yes, social media have been showing this bad side of many. And I know that some, they want to find empathy, support, they want to take revenge. These are the reasons for them to do that. The reasons, right? But not well thought, 
there's always, there will be two sides of the same coin. When you're going through a problem, it's good for you to breathe. Try to use the reason, because feelings push us to take actions that later, when we cool down, thinking better, we regret. We think, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done differently. But why they didn't? Because they didn't think. They acted upon the feelings. And this is the main problem with love life, emotional life. You need to be careful with what you feel. Because what you feel, it's not always the best for you to do in that moment. Yes, and this help us with this topic of overcoming because feelings don't help you to overcome the problems. And sometimes people they invest a lot on the feelings. They had a disadvantage, a problem happened, but you are there feeling the problem, nourishing the pain, relieving the pain. It's like you are feeling yourself with the pain and you be stuck with that, you be stuck with this disadvantage because you are feeling this feeling. Those who overcome, they use the reasoning. To overcome the disadvantages, you must overcome tiredness, anger, many negative feelings such as laziness. You need to overcome many feelings that are contrary to you, but normal when the disadvantage hits you the frustration, when adversities, disadvantages hit you, the feelings are the worst possible. But to overcome them, you won't be able to act upon them. You need to act against the feeling. That's why we admire the story of overcomers, because the person acted differently than expected. They acted contrary to what was natural, because the natural thing was to give up, to curse, throw in the towel, but instead they used their heads and got over it. That is what you have to learn to do to turn disadvantages into advantages. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.